Hello viewers I hope you all are doing great welcome back to our youtube channel the engineering projects in our previous tutorials on raspberry pi pico programming series we learned how to access raspberry pi pico's gpio pins for both input as well as output operations where we used some leds and push buttons to demonstrate the output and input operations respectively Now let's learn how to interface sensor modules with Raspberry Pi Pico development board and again using MicroPython programming language. So in this tutorial we are going to discuss how to interface a DHT sensor module with Raspberry Pi Pico. A DHT sensor is also known as a temperature and humidity sensor and as the name suggests it is used to measure the temperature and humidity data from its surrounding the dht module comes with two input sensors one is ntc type temperature sensor and another is resistive type humidity sensor a microcontroller is also there inside the dht module which receives the analog input from both the temperature and humidity sensors and provide a digital output over a single wire protocol for user interface the dht module is available in two types dht11 and dht22 functionality of both the modules is similar that is to measure temperature and humidity but they have different properties for example dht22 module provides better accuracy resolution and sensitivity than dht11 module but the cost of dht11 is quite cheaper than dht22 module so you can use any of the module as per your requirements and applications so in this tutorial we are using dht11 sensor module the module has three interfacing pins vcc ground and d output the vcc pin is to be connected with 3.3 volt power supply and the d output pin provides the digital output that is the temperature and humidity data and this d output pin can be connected with any of the gpio pin of a microcontroller to receive digital data inputs the components required for hardware demonstration includes a breadboard a raspberry pi pico development board a dht sensor and some jumper wires Now let's move towards the programming part. Here we are using Thony IDE to compile and upload MicroPython programs into Raspberry Pi Pico development board. We already published a tutorial on how to download and install Thony IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico programming using MicroPython programming language. The link is given in the description. Open the Thony IDE. and connect the raspberry pi pico board with your system now select the micro python interpreter from lower right corner you should see this micro python version in shell section which represent that we are ready to program our pico board now let's write the micro python program so the first task is importing the necessary libraries and modules So as here we are using the DHT module with Raspberry Pi Pico and the data pin of the DHT sensor module is to be connected with the GPIO pin of Raspberry Pi Pico. So first we need a library to access the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi Pico. So from machine we are importing pin to interface the dht11 module and fetch the temperature and humidity data we need to add the dht library file we already added the one in our raspberry pi so this is the library to access this library and respective code the link is given in the description now from this dht library from dht we are importing two classes one is dht11 because we are using dht11 module and another is 
invalid checksum to add some delay whenever required we are importing this new time library next we are declaring a pin object which represents the gpio pin to which the data output pin of dht module is to be connected and here we are also configuring the pin mode as input so we are using gpio 0 to receive the data now let's read the data from dht module so we are using while loop to continuously read the data the sampling time of dht 11 sensor is 1 second so before reading the data we need to add a delay of at least 1 second now let's define a variable to read the data from dht data underscore dht equals to dht11 from gpio0 now to store the temperature data we are defining this temp variable and data is fetched using data underscore dht dot temperature command similarly for humidity Now let's print the observed temperature and humidity data using print command. That's all about the programming part. Now let's save the program. Click on this icon and select Raspberry Pi Pico. Save the program with .py extension. Now we are ready to test this code. Connect the DHT module with Raspberry Pi Pico board. This is the DHT11 sensor module. The module has three pins, positive, out and negative. Now let's connect the DST module with the Raspberry Pi Pico 12 pin board. So this is the setup we prepared for hardware demonstration. This red wire is connected to 3.3 volt of the Pico board and positive pin of DHT11 sensor. The yellow wire represents the data output pin which is connected to GPIO 0 of Raspberry Pi Pico 12 pin board and the last one that is connected to negative pin of DHT11 sensor is further connected to ground of Raspberry Pi Pico. Now let's run the code. Click on this run icon to test the code. Now you can see the temperature and humidity data getting printed in the shell. Similarly, we can display this temperature and humidity data using some peripheral modules like LCD or OLEDs. So this concludes the tutorial. We hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on Raspberry Pi Pico programming. Till then, goodbye.